Welcome back. Let's talk about Kirkland, Washington, because there's 92,000 people that live there and it could be important to them and it could be important to you as well. So thank you for joining me and let's begin. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to cover the areas outside of the Seattle city limits on these kind of area and neighborhood reviews. And I used to live in Kirkland, so I know this one pretty well. I lived there for about nine years. Uh, but Kirkland, Washington is located on the east side of Lake Washington. It's uh, what we call colloquially the east side, uh, because the east side is, you know, Kirkland, Bellevue, Bothell, uh, and a couple other little areas and zones. And then there's Seattle. So it's east side versus Seattle. And the dividing line is obviously Lake Washington. Kirkland's right along I-405, and it's just north of the 520 bridge. And it's uh, in between Kirk, uh, Kenmore, Bothell, as well as the Bellevue, Redmond area. Uh, also, Kirkland Signature Brands, this is actually where Costco began. So shout out to Costco. Uh, I haven't gotten the check yet, uh, but you know I love your hot dogs. So let's just jump into the actual numbers of Kirkland. So if you came to me and you're like, hey, Victor, I kind of want to look into Kirkland as a... Uh, somewhere to live. I'd say, yeah, there's 92,000 people that live there. Uh, Work-wise, you're going to be in a good spot because it's right in between everything. You could either work in Bellevue, uh, Seattle, or you can work in the Redmond area. And our bachelor degree percentage is just over 67%. So more than two out of three people have bachelor degrees inside this area. Our medium income's uh, $130,000 on average. And uh, there is about 40,000 household units uh, inside of Kirkland. So it's just over two people per house uh, in that uh, a general idea. This includes rentals also, and uh, I had a question on that, so thank you very much. So going into Kirkland, if you came to me and you're like, hey, Victor, I want to buy a house inside of Kirkland, uh, I'd be like, great. As of uh, yesterday, when I pulled these numbers, there's 136 uh, There's 136 homes available for purchase inside of Kirkland. The average home price available on market right now is just over 2.8, uh, just under $2.1 million. It's 64 days on market, three and a half bedrooms, two and a half bath. It's also 2,400 square feet. And again, this is also one of the areas where a lot of the tech workers or any kind of execs work. So, you know, this does skew the numbers quite a bit. Uh, and our average uh, price per square foot comes out to $874 a square foot. This is really important because we're going to talk about this later. Now, you might say, hey, Victor, that's really expensive. You know, that's not something I can afford with my $130,000 uh, income. And I'd be like, great, let's actually go into uh, what's available and what's actually selling. So uh, I actually pulled the numbers for the last four years of November versus November. So I have November 2020 through November 2023. In November of 2020, if you were to buy the average house, and what we're going to do is we're going to use a single family house. Uh, it's 2,060 square feet. It's three beds, two bath, just so you have a general clue of what it looks like. Uh, this is a hypothetical house. It does not exist. But um, we have our hypothetical 2060 square foot house. And if you wanted to buy it in 2020 in November, on average, it would cost you $1,035,000. Now, if you held on to it just for one year, there was a 31% increase in, uh, in value. Uh, because in the middle of COVID, there was a huge run up and it went up 31% and it went up over $330,000. Now, if you held on to it for one more year, there was a slight pullback about 4%. And then uh, just the prices that we had in November were about uh, $1,370,000. Now, the equity change is changing about like 3 to 5% each year, uh, from what I can tell. And we're actually poised, in my opinion, of I think that we're actually going to see it keep on going down. But that's opinion. Um, and then in uh, 2020, we had 176 homes sold. Uh, and in 2021, in November, we had 159 homes sold. Interest rates started to change in November 2022. And we had 45% less homes sold. We only had 88. Now the interest rates are in the 7 to 8% uh, range. And last year, the interest rates were about 6% when this happened. 
Uh, we noticed actually that the home sales stayed about the same. They stayed at 93 uh, homes actually completed on sale uh, inside of the November period for last month. Um, so that's a, just a five, uh, five extra homes were sold this year versus last year. So when I go into this and I'm looking at you know the rents uh, versus the mortgage payments, if you were to rent this average house, 2,060 square feet, three beds, two, two and a half bath kind of thing, um, on average inside of this area, if you rent that single family house, it's going to cost you about $4,500. Now, single family rents are a lot higher than just a regular apartment or someone renting out their condo. Uh, but I just want to give you an idea of where the rents are in the single family zone for this. Um, now, if you're going to buy it, though, it's going to be eighty seven hundred dollars. And that's not including your taxes, insurance, uh, any kind of special assessments or even your HOAs. Now, I'm not a mortgage guy. So a quick disclaimer, I'm just using the calculator off of uh, the, uh, you know, the Google machine um, and at the same time, you know, everyone's financial situation is different. Their FICO store is different. I'm using a 7.5% interest rate, and I'm using about a $120,000 down payment on this. Um, when you get into this size, you get into the jumbo. And again, I'm not giving you loan advice. I'm just giving you a general idea how you can actually find this information. It's just Google exists, and I just want to tell you where it's at. Um, also, uh, to make that just a really quick, pointed thing it's 191 percent more to buy right now inside of kirkland than it is to rent i'm noticing some of the areas uh outside of the kirkland zone uh you know puallup and um i just did everett as well in kenmore it's a little more closer to um attainable but at the same time if you're making hundred and thirty thousand dollars in this area you're not going to be able to afford this house uh, because it's 10 times your monthly uh it's 10 times your yearly income and right now uh where you need to be uh, for affordability is between five and seven percent um uh five to seven times um of your actual uh yearly income is your house purchase value now i'm going to go into uh another thing that you can use but i want to give you my website it's victorashley.com uh, you could use this to get an automated uh, evaluation of your house or you can use it to see what's available in your area as well and just a quick plug i just want to tell you that i'm now part of the sax realty team network um, and i just wanted to give you an idea that um, you know your guy over here is actually putting in the work every day and i'd be happy to work with you as well so as always I just want to say thank you for working with me. This is just a general overview so you have an idea of what you're getting into if you're buying or selling inside of this area or you just choose to rent. Everyone's uh, decision is different. And I want to say thank you very much and I hope you have a fantastic day.